spoke about how he felt backing up the Eagles veteran quarterback, Ron Jaworski. Do you see the quarterback situation in Philadelphia as pleasing and appealing to you? Yes, I do, because Lynn Stiles and the owner, they said that Ron's getting a little old and they needed a quarterback that could sit under him for a couple of, maybe a couple of years. And the thing that I liked is he said that if Ron got hurt, he wouldn't be afraid to put me in the game. And I haven't even signed a, a contract or anything. He's already telling me that I'm pretty comfortable with him. Now, Randall told me the Eagles also expect to use him a lot as a punter. Now, we have not heard if any other Rebels have been chosen in today's draft. The first six picks went like this. We'll go through them quickly for you. Buffalo took Bruce Smith. That was uh, automatic. They had already signed him. Atlanta took uh, offensive tackle out of Pittsburgh, Bill Fralick. Houston went with Ray Childress, a, a defensive end. Minnesota took Chris Dolman. A lot of these names I know are not familiar to you, but uh, these are some of the top players. As I mentioned, a lot of linebackers and linemen in there. Another one to mention for you, the Cowboys took Herschel Walker in round five, the USFL's New Jersey general running back. Of course, they are gambling that the generals in the USFL will fold, and they will then have the rights to Herschel Walker. Now, that draft was a pretty big deal today, but the draft is coming up tomorrow. The UNLV player draft for the spring game coming up Sunday at Rebel Park. I will be coaching the white team. A guy by the name of Scott Reynolds over Channel 3 uh, is going to be coaching the red team, or, or the other team, I guess we can refer them to as. Uh, but we will go uh, at it for the players tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. The spring game is Sunday at 3 p.m. Tickets, five and three bucks for that one. One of the world's greatest swimmers is coming to Las Vegas. Now, not just for a visit, but to stay, live here, and teach kids how to swim. Three-time Olympic gold medalist Rowdy Gaines has signed on to coach the Las Vegas Youth Swimming Association. Gaines shares two world relay records. He holds the Olympic world record in the 100-meter freestyle. Some have called him the best freestyle swimmer ever. So the obvious question, why come to Las Vegas to coach kids? I love swimming. You know, I want to stay in the sport. I didn't want to really leave the sport. I knew I wasn't going to compete anymore, but I, I wanted to stay in it somehow, and I didn't know how. And uh, second of all, I love kids. Uh, I love, I like to work with children. And you can't get a much better swimming instructor, I don't think, than the best, Rowdy Gaines. A couple of pretty big upsets in Alan King tennis play today over at Caesars Palace. First, John Fitzgerald, the 50th ranked player in the world, knocked off Yannick Noah. He, uh, Fitzgerald is in the far court here. He had to do it the hard way. He'd lost the first set 5-7, to seven, then came back to win the next two, 6-4, six, 6-4. Four, six, four. The other upset, tennis star and actor Vince Van Patten beat the number 10 player in the world, Aaron Crickstein, 7-5-6-3 were those scores. So Crickstein and Noah both make early exits from the Allen King. And four-time defending champ Jimmy Connors practiced for a while out there today. He will begin play tomorrow against VJ Armitage. Connors will play in the third match. That should start right around 1 o'clock. One baseball game to tell you about today, Steve. The Cubs beat the uh, Giants in Wrigley Field, 3-1 that final. Knowing the Van Patten family, they come in every time that uh, their son plays. I'm sure they're very yeah, he's, proud he's, today. He's not a, not a bad tennis player. Huh? If he can beat guys like Crickstein and then can act over. All right, sir, thank you. We'll be right back.